Welcome to another flavorful episode of Dine with World. I hope all of you are having a great weekend. I'm very excited because we are going to teach you today one of um, every Pakistani uh, person's favorite cuisine, I'm sure. This should have been our national cuisine. It is uh, Chinese food. Yes, we're going to teach you how to make authentic Sichuan cuisine. And with us on set, we have um, a very young, shy chef. But he makes the most fantastic Chinese food. He works in Dynasty, a very famous restaurant. I'm sure all of you have been there at the Islamabad Marriott Hotel. His name is Chef Karimali. Chef Karimali. Hello, Chef. How are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? I am good. Um, good. How, are you, how are you feeling? This is a no problem. You're good. Okay. So that's what's important. We have to check if he's feeling all right yeah. or not. It's his first time. And he's making three very popular recipes for all of us. Uh, the reason why we are teaching them to you is because he's going to teach you the authentic way uh, and maybe a few amendments that we Pakistanis do like in our Chinese cuisine. Right, Kareem Ali? Yes, ma'am. Right. You are the sous chef? Yeah, right now I'm sous chef. He has been promoted, so congratulations. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, Kareem Ali, what is the first recipe we are going to make? Now we'll start from the soup. Soup? And what yeah. is the name of the soup? Chicken chili soup. Chicken chili soup. This yeah. sounds very uh, yummy. Yeah, sure. So let's go on to the ingredients of chicken chili soup. The ingredients are chicken slices, 100 grams, green chilies, 10 grams, chicken stock, 500 milliliters, chicken powder, one and a half teaspoon salt, one teaspoon sugar, one teaspoon lemon juice, one and a half tablespoon, and crispy rice for garnishing. Liters. It's simple, it's nice, and it's going to be really delicious. So sure. let's go on to the ingredients here. Yeah. We'll just tell them. First, we're using this one. This is a chicken stock. Uh, how we just? How did you make it? This one. Yeah. This one you make from chicken bones. Uh, you also you can use in a whole chicken. Okay. You can boil maximum in one and a half hour. Uh, also, you can add uh, some vegetables. Okay. Then we bring. After right. we we'll stain the stock. Salt, pepper. No. Nothing. Nothing. Wow. All right. And what else? This one egg. Okay. After that, we will use the chicken powder, salt, and sugar. Okay. After that, we we'll use the lemon juice. Yeah. And we have a green chilies mm -hmm. and the end of the dish we will garnish with crispy rice uh, and we, if this is boiled rice yeah. and we'll fried deep fried deep fried so yes. it's nice and crispy yummy all right thank you so uh, let's go on um should i just turn the flame on sure. you can ask okay. me for help anytime no problem uh yeah i'm, I'm always open for now i start thing. from the shark yeah so karimali you always wanted to be a chef or what happened your mom made you a chef or you saw someone in your yeah. kitchen that inspired you? My chef inspire, uh, inspired me. Your chef? Yes. And who is your chef? Zubin. Zubin? Yes. Wow. I know you, <laughs> you know him? Yes, I know him very well. He, uh, is, he is the master chef at Dynasty and he absolutely. has trained everyone here uh, in the Chinese kitchen. Are <coughs> we waiting for the boil the yeah. stock? Okay. After we boil, you will start the, everything. Okay. So, but you wanted to be a chef since you were young? Tiny yeah. baby? No, I am started from maybe 18 years. 18 years. And now mm. I am 32. So you always like to cook food? Yeah, I love it. You love yeah. to cook food. See, cooking is just not the ingredients. You have to make it with lots of passion and love. And of course, that that comes with um, interest as well. But uh, cooking with passion is, is very important because you can create new things. We will try every time. Yeah, we'll try something new. exactly. Yeah. That's innovation, huh? It's a, it's a, it's a, it's an art and a science. That's what I've learned. So, um, all right. So we're boiling the chicken stock. For yeah. those of you who have just tuned in, we are making chicken chili soup, and we have Chef Kareem. He is the sous chef at Dynasty um, at the Islamabad Marriott Hotel. Okay. I'm waiting for the boil. Okay. Let me start. This um, the chicken stock is boiling. I asked the chef in the middle, um, you know, you can add the vegetables. He said, no, it has to boil properly. Okay. So we're going to add the we chicken. We add the soup slice again, small the slice, small slice then 100 gram. We mix well. Is this in the menu of Dynasty? Chicken yes. Chicken chili soup? Wow. Yeah. So we're so lucky. We are teaching you five star recipes or dishes that are um, served in a five star hotel. And all you have to do is just watch, pay attention, have any problems, just message us. Now I'm adding the ingredients. Give it a taste. Chicken powder. Chicken powder. 
is a small teaspoon this why i'm using a little bit more okay so it's around two and a half sugar salt chicken and powder half. sugar and salt wow green chilies amazing it's like thai soup right yeah, something like thai, thai soup, soup. I'm going to have all of this now. I love this. I can already relate myself to this soup. I'm going to have this every day. It's simple to make. Yeah, it's very you know? simple. That's the best thing. It's just that a few ingredients that we may not know. Uh, these chefs are really nice to share their secrets with us. I know uh, chefs don't like sharing their tips, right? Yeah, we will do. <laughs> we'll try. The simple we'll is that you need to bring more. more to give you more time. If okay. you give you more time, then green chili flavors come yeah. to the soup automatically yes and and that flavor is just gives that kick to yeah. the soup it's very important to get that that flavor of the green chilies because that's a very important component now i am adding the okay. lemon juice lemon juice it's almost it. one and a half tablespoon one and a half tablespoon of lemon juice so um, those of you again you've just tuned in we are making green chili soup chicken chili chicken soup zero, zero, zero. Uh, we added the chicken stock we added uh, 100 grams of sliced chicken we added a good amount of green chilies uh, chicken powder salt and sugar All right and lime mm. or lemon juice mm -mm -mm. done man. i know it's done i can it's it's so easy to make that's amazing. Can you pass the bowl, please? Of course. There you go. And I will also taste it. Right, Kareem? Sure. So, Kareem, has it Just ever wait. happened that, uh, you know, there are lots of people over um, for some banquet event and uh, you can't make things on time? I mean, what do you do, you know? Because we're humans. Oh. Sometimes yeah. something happens, you know, some mishap. Every time, every time we are trying to manage everything in time. Wow. It's never happened in my, my kitchen. Amazing. Uh, uh, touch word, that is uh, something really amazing because this shows that uh, they are professionals. Yeah. And I'm sure they have a plan B done. if something wrong happens. Yeah. You, know? you can make everything. Okay. So. The three speed rice for garnish. Mm -mm -mm. Now the flavors coming from the lamb. Yes, I can actually. Um, the, feel the, the flavor. Yes, I can feel the flavor. He's so right. The the lemony flavor is just. Um, oh, it's done. Can I try to use it? Yes. Can I taste it? Sure. Do I taste it with this? Yeah. Okay. So. Hmm. It is amazing. Just the way I like it. Chef Kareem, I love it. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> You're welcome. So this is how we made the chicken chili soup. I would add a few more chilies because I like spicy food, but of course it's uh, up to you. Uh, now we're going to go on to our second recipe, which is called egg fried rice. This is simple, everyone can make it at home, but let's learn how to make it from a five star chef. Um, the ingredients of egg fried rice are rice boiled, 300 grams, carrots, small dice, 40 grams, spring onions chopped, a few, egg two, Oil 2 tablespoons, salt 1.5 teaspoon, chicken powder 1 teaspoon, white pepper powder a pinch and sesame oil 1 teaspoon. And wow. So yeah, let's start. Do yes, you need this? Yeah, I don't need this one. So Chef Kareem, is only Chinese food that you can make or is there anything else that you want of? No, mostly I'm spending the time in the Danish kitchen. Okay. I mean, At home Chinese you Chinese? Food. Food. No, never. Oh, never? <laughs> <laughs> what do you make? Simple local dishes. Uh, I love my dishes from Hunza? Yes. Like? like? Yeah, too much. Which ones? I've, I've had a, a soup which has this huge chunks of pasta inside. I don't know what it's called. This we call it dodo. Dodo, it's amazing. Yeah. And they use lots of butter no, in their it, food. It depends on you if you like. You can add okay, the butter okay. in your soup. Dodo was amazing. Yeah. Okay. Now, pain is sure. not hot now. No, I so, need uh, oil. Oil, almost a two tablespoon. So the best thing about Chinese cuisine is that um, it doesn't take too long to make this. Yeah. You know, um, you just need to 
Uh, tell you. No, the right ingredients, the right techniques. Ingredients are the main thing. Adding in. Now we need two egg. Eggs. Yeah, some of three and two. Two Now it is ready. Now we need the carrots, almost 30 to 40 grams. So we will mix well. All right, beautifully. Uh, it's it, they're so finely chopped or diced. That's really pretty. This was how many cups? So almost a three cup. Three cups. Three cups. After that, we will mix well. Now taste. We're adding in chicken powder. Yeah. Around one teaspoon. One and a half teaspoon. This is much more just I'm using a more salt. And salt. Wow. A little white pepper. White pepper. White pepper is stronger than black pepper. Right? Yes. Now sesame oil. Sesame oil. Almost one tablespoon. That's it? Wow. This was egg fried rice in a jiffy. We just added, we first, we cooked the eggs, two eggs. We added boiled rice, chopped carrots. Do you want to add the spring onions? No. Okay, the we same. added uh, chicken powder, salt, white pepper, and now we're adding the spring onions. Wow. Mm-mm-mm. And we drizzled sesame oil on top. Done, man. Done. So I'll just pass yeah, you the possible, second please. There you go. That's right. That's good. I need a bowl. Oh, I'm sorry. Here. Want. And um, then also you can pour the yeah. little bit of spring onion. Wow. Done. Wow, thank you. This was really, this was made in Jiffy and I'm sure it's going to taste amazing. But can I just taste it? <coughs> sure. Amazing. Very, very nice. Thank you. You're welcome, Chef Kareem. Now, let's go on to our third recipe, which is beef session. The ingredients of beef session are beef slice 180 grams, onion julienne 20 grams, capsicum julienne 20 grams, carrot slice 10 grams, green chilies 10 grams, dry long chilies 10 grams, oil 1 tablespoon chili sauce, 1 tablespoon chicken stock 1 cup chicken powder, 1 teaspoon salt, half a teaspoon sugar, half a teaspoon white pepper powder 1 pinch, dark soya 1 tablespoon, vinegar half a tablespoon, sesame oil half a tablespoon, corn flour, for thickness. All right, perfect. So let's start. Let's we'll start. Yes. So Chef uh, uh, Kareem is saying, you know, I'm so slow. Um, he makes it quicker. I'm sure they make it quicker because there are lots of people. They have to cater in a very small amount of time. Yeah, so sure. um, we're learning. We we'll learn from you how to do this quickly. Okay. You want me to add oil? Uh, not. I'm using the other one. Yes. 
Chef Kareem, have you ever been scolded by uh, your chef? Sorry? You have you ever been scolded by a chef? Yeah. <laughs> and what has it taught you? Like you've been scolded by a teacher, huh? When you do something wrong. And they give you lots of punishment, lots of time. Punishment and Yeah, I also faced that one. And what is the punishment? Because I didn't uh, doing up my homework in uh -huh. time. In school? Yeah. Okay, but what about Can here now, in this? your professional life? Now I have a responsibility. Okay. So, but uh, your chef was strict with you initially? Yeah. He was very strictly personal. Did he, did he come with a stick? No, or never. Never? But? No, never. <laughs> but? No, what no, did no, he do? No. He's saying, uh, if you want to work with me, <laughs> suggest you with job, take it, uh, yeah. everything is complete in time. Okay, yeah, of course. Uh, also, he's saying, I don't need any complaint from any guest. Of course. See, the, the, the most challenging bosses are the best teachers because they have to bring out the best in you. That's what I've learned. Yeah. Sure. You know, you have to be strict to, to get out your uh, a talent Good in job. you. Good job. Yes, exactly. So now we're going to deep For, fry. First, no, not deep fry. Okay. We're giving it stir fry. All right. You're not doing it well then. It's okay. for about 70%, maybe 70 to 80%. After we put in sauce. So, uh, you used to be scolded when you were uh, in school for not doing your homework. No, Who never, likes to do homework? You know, I don't some, understand the concept of homework. Some people are allowed to do their homework. Some are. I know. Some people love to be busy. Now I'm reading the ingredients. I don't know who those people <laughs> are who used to love to do their homework. I certainly was not one of them. Add 30 grams of onion. Add onions now. Uh, chopped capsicum. No, not really. Julian. Uh, yeah, Julian. Julian capsicum. Little green chilies. Green chilies. Yeah. And sweet. Yeah, wow. And stir fry. And, okay, what's the difference between Szechuan and Cantonese? Szechuan is more spicy. Spicy, yeah. Cantonese is a little sweet. Uh -huh, right. And there's another one, category. Yeah. What is that category? Szechuan, Cantonese and? These are different cities. They make dishes from their and there's city a third, name. There's a third category of Chinese food. They have lots of categories. Yeah. My chef told me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now we strain the oil. Drain it. Yeah. Now I need it. This one. Almost two tablespoons. First, we're using the dry chili long. Right. We need the flavor of these chilies. Lots of flavor of these red chilies. There's going to be lots of smoke in the kitchen. I'm going to be coughing, <coughs> right? Yes. Yes. I'll be ready. It's <laughs> now, this is ginger paste. Right. One ginger teaspoon, paste. garlic paste, one teaspoon. Ginger garlic food. paste. Mix it well. Now we add the chili sauce. One and a half tablespoon. This is a small one, that's why I'm using. One and a half tablespoon mm -hmm. chili sauce. Okay. Okay. We're yeah. done. Now we're adding the. Beef and for, for those of you who have just joined, we're making beef session. We added oil, uh, uh, long red chili, uh, we stir fried the beef, we've added cap capsicum, chilies, onions, uh, ginger garlic paste. Yeah. Now I'm adding the chicken stock. One and a half uh, tablespoon of chili sauce. Half cup of stock. Half cup of stock. Did we add soya sauce? Now I'm adding later. And we added green chili. This is a dark soya sauce. One and a half. Sesame oil. Vinegar. 
Uh, okay. Soy sauce, vinegar, wow, and sesame oil. That is the trick. I think now that's where you get the real color from. Yes. And you can no. actually feel the flavor. Mmm. Now you give me a taste. Sugar, one yes. teaspoon, one and a half teaspoon chicken powder. Sugar, salt, chicken powder, salt, white pepper, pepper, and I'm going to sneeze. Okay. Mm. 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 Two tablespoons is enough. Two tablespoons of corn flour. Can I stir it for you? Yeah, sure. Be beautiful. This dark, deep brown color because of the soy sauce. Is it yes. dark soy? Yeah, that was the dark soy sauce. Was it done? Turn the flame off. Pause the plate, please. I will give you a plate with the ice cream. And voila, this uh, beef session is ready to serve um, with egg fried rice. With egg fried rice. The uh, aroma is tantalizing. I can feel the, the, the vinegar. I can feel the green chilies. I can feel the, the red chilies. Flavor. Yeah, and I'm very excited as you can see because I love Chinese food like all of us in Pakistan. Can I taste it? Sure. I will just put it here. Let me just have some rice. Sure. And um, if I cough and choke, it's all right. I, I will. I will have the the green chili. Thank you. That's it. Mmm. This is really nice. Amazing. Chef Kareem. Your chef has certainly taught you well. Chef Zubin, he's from China, he's trained his staff really well. So um, we still have time on our show. So what are we going to make next? Now we have next braised broccoli with black mushrooms. Braised broccoli with uh, black mushrooms, that yes. sounds so interesting. So um, let's go on to the ingredients. Broccoli 200 grams, uh, mushrooms 60 grams, stock half a cup, chicken powder 5 grams, salt 1 pinch, white pepper powder 1 pinch, Oyster sauce, one tablespoon, dark soy sauce, half a tablespoon, sesame oil, half a teaspoon, and corn flour for thickness. Let's start. We are going to blanch this. Blanch the broth, please. Okay. Now we add a little bit of oil. Here we go. Half tablespoon of salt. Half tablespoon of half a teaspoon. Teaspoon of yeah. And we're waiting for boil. So the salted, um, the salty water is going to um, add flavor to the vegetables. Mm. That's one of the main reasons we are adding salt. I'll put it. And these are the mushrooms we're going to use, uh, black mushrooms. Uh, wow. After it's sauce. Okay. The oyster sauce. I'll do that, no problem. Done. 
Si Blanchett for five minutes and we are done. Beautiful bright green color. I, I love this. Yes, I'm going to show you. Now you're making a sauce. Start with water. Half cup of water is enough for this. Mm. What do we add now? Now after now we are waiting for the boil the water. Okay. After we add the chicken mushrooms. Stock? Yeah, chicken stock. Half a cup of chicken stock, then we're gonna add in the mushrooms, uh, the oyster sauce, the soya Dark sauce. Soya sauce, sesame oil, and after salt pepper. Uh, okay, and what is what are those mushrooms for? This the baby fresh ones? mushrooms. What are they for? Do Enoki. Enoki oh. mushrooms. Okay. Just for the vegetable chomians. Okay, very nice. Have you been to China? Never. Pretty? Never. Not yet. Strange. But I I know that Chinese Pakistani cuisine is, is, is more popular. So the dynasty's cuisine, is it Chinese Pakistani? Is it authentic? It is authentic Chinese cuisine. Some I know. are but some yeah. But some people do want us to adapt the flavor, flavor change it a little bit, spicy. alter the flavor. Yeah. Now we're eating the black mushrooms. So that's why in Dynasty you have more of Szechuan cuisine. Szechuan because cuisine, we yeah. have, we like spicy food, uh, we Pakistanis. So it must be very tricky, no? It Finding what, out what the customer wants. So we've added the black mushrooms black here. Black mushrooms, now we add it. Dark soy. Dark soy sauce. One, one and a half teaspoon. One and a half teaspoon. And oyster sauce. And oyster sauce. One and a half teaspoon. It's a big one, that's why I'm missing. Salt, salt, half teaspoon, chicken powder, half teaspoon, white pepper, one pinch, and little sugar. So he added chicken powder, a pinch, he added salt, sugar, and white pepper powder. I think that these are the key ingredients yes. uh, for the Chinese, Chinese cuisine. cuisine. Almost done, now we add the corn flour, add stuff, you can add it. Is. We are making bro uh, braised broccoli with mushrooms. mushrooms. There you go. Do you think women are good chefs? They are. Some are not all of them. Some are not. Look at this. Uh, okay. Can you pass the plate? Of course, I can pass the plate. I'll have to ask you more questions. So, you think men are better chefs? Yes. Men Which are better chefs? Yeah. Men are better than women. Uh, and when it comes to cooking? <laughs> yes, yeah, we're talking about the cooking. Yeah, yeah good. Um, maybe, yeah, you are right. Uh, some are the some good. Some are good too. Yeah, some women are good too. Not all of them. Not all of them. What does that mean? <laughs> because everyone thinking when they are coming for the training for six months, yeah. they thinking we are a chef after six months. They are not. Hmm. But when it comes to food sense, taste, do you think men can add more flavor? About which one? Food. Aapko lagta aadmi zyada chhaja ke dar khana banati hai puch rahe hain. Abilkul. Nee, ladies bhi hai. Yeh nee ki sirf gents hai. Aapko lagta zyada aadmi hai. Ah. Is it ready? Okay, so this is ready. Chefs thinks that all right, women are good chefs, but men are better chefs. Mm. Little bit of sesame oil. Little bit of sesame oil. Sesame oil, it's going to So we can add in more chicken stock because yes. we don't want it to be so thick.
at this beautiful roof. Oh, this is very pretty. Done. And I can actually um, smell the broccoli. Very strong of flavor, yeah. I'm sure it has a very strong flavor. This is so beautiful. It's nice, Done. bright. Um, is this served as an appetizer? No, oh, it's the main course. It's, it's for okay. vegetable. Okay. Vegetarian, someone. If someone is a vegetarian, you can always make uh, broccoli with braised broccoli with black mushrooms. Wow. wow. And now for our last recipe, which is vegetable chowmin. Yes, ma'am. Uh, the ingredients of vegetable chowmin are. The ingredients of vegetable chowmin are cabbage, 40 grams. Carrot, 8 grams, onion, 10 grams, capsicum, 8 grams, noodles, 30 grams, chicken powder, 1 teaspoon, salt, half a teaspoon, white pepper powder, a pinch, oyster sauce, 1 tablespoon, soy sauce, 1 tablespoon, sesame oil, 1 teaspoon, spring onions for garnishing. Okay, Chef Kareem, why are you so happy? It's good yeah. to be happy, but yeah, Chef is like uh, this amazed is my about it. With television. Okay, yeah. well, yeah, there's always a first time, and then you would want to come all the time. Let me try. Let me clean this. Okay. So we are making making vegetable chowmin, and we are using what kind of noodles are these? Vegetable noodles. Where the vegetable noodles? egg noodles. Egg noodles. All right. And uh, can you tell us how uh, are they here? The noodles? Yeah, they're yeah, going for me. Okay. So uh, the egg noodles that we're using here, uh, you uh, boil it for 10-15 minutes? No, we soak in the water. Soak in hot water? Warm water, yeah. Hot or warm? Warm. <coughs> oh, so you soak uh, uh, around about, uh, what, should the what should the temperature be? 70 degrees? Yeah, maybe 50, 60 degrees. Isn't it? Okay, so you shouldn't uh, soak them in boiling water, soak them in warm water, warm right? Warm water, yeah. After 15 minutes, Drain it. Drain it. I will put some oil and Add, mix well. Okay, so put some oil because otherwise they will stick. tend to stick uh, to one another. And um, that's it. That's it. Simple. So I made egg noodles once and they're really heavy, you know. We are using the egg. Uh, this is the egg noodle. Yeah. The, um, when you went from the market, there's not egg noodles. Mm -hmm. Maybe there's a separate one. Okay. So these this are is noodles that you make here. Yeah. But this, this is available are... in stores. Chef Kareem is saying uh, they make these noodles uh, in the restaurant, fresh, but you can always buy them from um, your local market if you don't want to make them at home. Great. Should we start? Yes. Do you want me to add oil? Yeah, I'll do it. One tablespoon is enough. Enough, 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 enough. That's enough? All right. Onion. Add chopped onions. Not julienne. All right. These are julienne. And what's the difference between, I mean, if we add chopped onions, julienne, wh what difference in flavor does it give? It depends on flavor also. So we're adding in julienne onions. Uh, the chefs are very particular about the way they chop the onions. Chop, dice, julienne. Uh, they're saying uh, chopped onions will just get mixed in the food. So that's why julienne is better because you have to feel the crunch of the vegetables. Cabbage. Add... Uh, uh, this is cabbage. Cabbage, julienne. Julienne, capsicum. capsicum. Okay. Julienne, Carrot. carrots. We have fresh mushrooms. Fresh mushrooms. A little bit of fresh mushrooms. Okay, so we're we adding two still. kinds of different mushrooms? Yeah, two kinds okay. of them. A little bit of stock or water, Chicken whatever stock you or whatever. All right. Um, can you freeze these egg noodles or do you have to use them immediately? Sorry? If yes. some noodles are left, can I put them in the refrigerator or freezer and freeze them or we no? Can, we can, we can. So how long? It depends on temperature, freezer temperature. Mm -hmm. If your temperature is good, then you can also keep for one month. Okay, okay. Now it won't change the flavor of the noodles, no, right? No, never. Okay. Oyster sauce. We add an oyster sauce. Dark soy sauce. Dark soy sauce. Sesame oil. Sesame oil. And we add the noodles. And we're adding egg noodles here. So, can you just tell us uh, how do you actually make egg noodles? 
I'll explain it to you then. You add in eggs, how many? Eight eggs in one kg. Eight, eight eggs uh, in one kg of flour? Flour, yeah. Uh, fine flour? No, white flour. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, so fine flour, yeah, no. So we add in eight eggs, uh, fine flour, how much? One kilo. One kilo. And eight salt? eggs. No, no, never salt. Okay. Little bit of food color, yellow. Okay. Yellow food color. All right. It looks nice, that's why. Right. Okay. Now I'm eating test. Okay, that's it. And you just take it out of the machine? Yeah. All right. Chicken. But who wants to make these? I mean, of course, it's great to make uh, noodles at home, but you can always uh, purchase them. Uh, chicken powder. Chicken powder. One teaspoon. One teaspoon. Salt, half teaspoon. Salt. These are the key ingredients to making Chinese food. Chicken powder, salt, white pepper, Butter. sugar. We're not adding sugar for it. We're not adding sugar. Okay. Yeah. Well. Right, and of course he added mushrooms in this. You can add in your any vegetable you want. Any kind. No. Um, you can even add in chicken, beef, chicken, prawns. Beef, prawns. You, you can just get carried away and add everything. This is done, let's serve it. This plate, alright. And can you just tell us, after you're done with this, how to julienne cut something? Sure. Okay? Yeah. A technique at home, um, because it does require some kind of technique, I'm sure. And Chef will teach us how to do that. So I'll just take the red capsicum. Spring onion for garnishing. Thank you. So I'll just taste this. Let's see how this is. Mmm. This is really nice. Thank you, ma'am. Mmm. It's the oyster sauce. Flavor. And the oyster sauce has really enhanced the flavor of this vegetable chowmin. I think you should just keep a bottle at home for of oyster sauce. You know, you can add it anytime, anywhere. Anytime, yeah. You can add it on any, any dish. Any dish. Do you make in Chinese? Yes. It so depends on recipe. It depends on the recipe. Of course it do, does. But you know what, Kareem, I don't agree with you. Women are good chefs. <laughs> you know, Not all anything. of them. Oh my mm. God. Okay, not all of them. Not not all men are good chefs either. Yeah. You know? Okay, so he's going to tell us how to uh, Julian cut this. The technique. We have a nice sharp knife. Knife. And clean the surface. See? Okay. So explain. Julian. Yeah. First of the grip. We call the grip. It's four fingers. Alright. Control the whatever okay. you are cutting the vegetables. Okay. This one finger. Right. Save your whole fingers. So Little bit fold of the front. Like okay. this. Hold it. Okay. It's a grip. Yeah. Four fingers. Okay. It's one finger. Okay, in front. Save, yeah. So Save hold all the, the hand. hold the vegetable with your four fingers and this one here, right? Yeah, little fold from the front. Yeah, this way. Yeah. This little way. more from end. Okay. Not the vegetable finger. Okay. Okay, right. Okay. Now the gap of the knife and the finger. Mm -hmm. All right. There we go. So it's all about holding the vegetable. Yeah. Actually. It's dependent on the four, four fingers. And how about making diced? How do you dry, dice it? So this is Julian, for those of you, I'm sure all of you know, but some of you don't know, this is Julian, cut into long thin strips. And now we're going to dice this. Okay. Right? Is there a separate way of holding? Small dice, medium yeah. dice. Or Small dice. Small. So what do you do? Okay, cut it. Nah. Medium. First. Okay. Okay. It has to be very close yeah, together. Yeah, too close together.
medium yeah. squares. It's medium diced. It's medium diced, yes. Now we finely dice it. Yeah, finely diced. Making it. Because this is very essential for making Chinese cuisine because it all depends on the, the size of the vegetables, right? Size of the vegetables, right. So it's like julien at first, yeah. right? After and that. it's medium thickness. And there we go. Okay. There we go. Julian, medium diced and finely diced. Or finely chopped. Fine. No, this is, a this is chopped. Diced. Dice, small okay. dice. If you need a fine job, yeah. you should make it more thin. Fine. More thin. The, the, the strips should be thinner. Yeah. Right? Okay. Perfect. Then, uh, Thank you, Kareem, the man who says right? men are better chefs than women. Hmm. <laughs> uh, please do tell, uh, do uh, uh, give me your feedback about this suggestion. Uh, thank you, Kareem, so much. A very young, Anytime. exuberant chef. Um, he's really passionate about what he does, and this is really amazing because um, it's not only a job that you do um, when you when you're working. You should not be job oriented. You should be mission oriented or task oriented. Uh, you need to get in results, and that's when you put in effort and hard work so that uh, you uh, can deliver uh, deliver your best to uh, the people you're working for or to your customers. Thank you so much, Kareem. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's show. We made five Chinese recipes today because Chef Kareem um, is Speedy Gonzalez. Uh, we had to actually tell him to make um, the food very slowly. Um, well, well, that's how Chinese food is made. It's, it's simple to make, uh, less ingredients and just lots of good technique. So if you have any suggestions, feedback, please inbox us on our PDV World Facebook page. I'm going to catch you next week with something different. Let me see uh, which chef now will uh, co-host me uh, on Dine With World. Till then, take care of yourself. Allah Hafiz.